Hello everyone and welcome back to Programming with Dan. In today's video, I'm going to talk to you about the best programming languages and libraries for front-end. It's Daniel. I'm a full-stack web developer with over 8 years of experience and my mission is to help you get started with programming and stay with you along the way. In the previous video, I discussed about top 5 backend programming languages, along with salary figure, popularity, and trend. And in today's video, I want to walk you through all the needed frontend technologies to become a frontend developer. Frontend of the application is extremely, extremely important. It's like window of the store. You need to put your best product in the window to be able to attract customers. Based on my experience, while the backend side of the application is very, very important, but the only thing that clients usually take into consideration is front-end. Okay, now that you know how important is front-end, let's jump right into it. The first language a front-end developer needs to learn is HTML. HTML is actually like a structure of a house. As same as a house, which needs a roof, a window, and a door, your website also needs some different sections, like header, footer, body, place of images, place of text, and so on. By HTML, you can set the overall structure of your page, but still it doesn't have a color and look and feel. What gives your house or web page a look and feel is CSS. By CSS, you can set color of different sections of the page, or for example, change the size of the text, or change size of images, and much more. Writing HTML and CSS code from scratch for whole the website might be a little bit time consuming. And because of that, there are so many frameworks and libraries to help you, such as Bootstrap, Bulma, Materialized CSS, and Semantic UI. When it comes to CSS, another thing you need to know is CSS processing frameworks. CSS processing frameworks like SAS or LESS add some other features which doesn't exist in pure CSS. By using this framework, you can write less amount of code and make it more productive and functional. And the next item in the list is absolutely JavaScript. Nowadays, JavaScript is everywhere. You can build almost all kinds of applications by JavaScript. But in front-end, JavaScript is mainly used for giving your page some kinds of functionalities. But sometimes, to do a small task in JavaScript, you have to write a large amount of code. And because of that, you can use some JavaScript libraries to help you. The most famous JavaScript libraries are jQuery, React, and Angular. jQuery actually helps you to make your page a little bit dynamic, but it's not as powerful as React and Angular. Both of React and Angular not only can be used for front-end development, but also you can write native mobile applications with them and they are mainly used to build single page applications. As you know nowadays there are so many screen sizes, such as tablets, cell phones, desktop computers, and so on. And a web page needs to fit into all of them. Which leads me to the next item and that's responsive design. Responsive design is usually done by CSS and HTML, but as same as the other items, there are some tools in this case to help you, such as Bootstrap and Bulma. Using these tools is very quick and simple. And the last item in the list is Browser Developer Tools. Believe me, it's a lifesaver. You can inspect all the HTML elements on the page, modify CSS, HTML, or JavaScript, and see the result in real time. I hope you enjoyed this video. On the next video, I will talk about Software Developer Career Pass, which is extremely important for all kinds of software developers in all levels. If this video was valuable for you, please give it a like and don't forget to hit the subscription button down there to get notified of the next videos. See you later.